So this video I am going to try and explain once more how to train the heel. To train the heel you need a clicker, some soft treats that the dogs can eat quickly and a dog that knows how a clicker works. Awesome. So with the heel we are going to train two positions. A position in the front and if the dog is facing this way a position on your left hand side. Basically the dog is going to be static and initially you are going to move around this, between this place and this place. So the aim is to teach the dog that when I sit facing this guy it is rewarding. But if I am sitting right next to this guy like this on his left side that is equally rewarding as well. So now you need a dog that understands this platform. So you should have played the platform game with her a lot of times. So the moment the dog sees the platform, it has to be itching to get on the platform. Yes. So you can use either the clicker or you can say yes. Of course, I'm going to reward this dog because he is being calm. Yes. Yes. Good, good. And then what you do is you move to the side and you feed the dog away from your body. You move to her side and you feed the dog away from your body. This is very important. You feed the dog away from your body. Pause my head. Mm. Yes. So what you need is a dog that understands that if I see the platform, I have to sit on it. Yes. Yes. And then when she is sitting like this, you move yourself to the side and then, yes, you feed away from your body, right? You don't feed across, you don't feed with your hand like this because you know, you see what it does to the back end. So if you feed here, the dog develops a tendency to crowd into your legs. Good girl. Zits. So you feed away from your body. This is the first thing you have to do. And keep the rate of reinforcement high. Then you can move to the front. Oh, so sweet. Head the front. No. No. Yes. Good girl. First one. Okay. Here. What you do is. Next step. There is no platform. This is a totally independent exercise. This is also needed. You keep a treat in your hand. And you constantly feed her on the left side. You keep feeding her like this. You don't even have to mark. She just has to know that your left side has something special about it. Just keep feeding her on the left hand side. So what happens is sometimes the dog may come to your right hand side. And even then you lure your dog to your left and feed her like this. So this exercise you have to train independently, right? So as you keep walking, you have to feed on the left hand side. This is an independent exercise that you have to train. Okay. Yes. So with enough practice, the dog learns that if you stop, she is supposed to sit. Yes. If you notice, I am feeding both for movement. Yes. As well as when she assumes the stationary position. Yes. So both of them are uh, reward worthy. Both of them can be rewarded. Yes. So finally, once you are confident that she understands this behavior, yes. you can start naming it at this point, Helga. Yes. Yes. Helga Fus. Yes. Fus. 
Yes. Yes. Good girl. Pause my video.